Who do you trust the most in your life? Your friends? Imagine how different your life would be if you placed more value on your enemies. Sounds counterintuitive, right? But here's why it's one of the most powerful strategies you can adopt. In The 48 Laws of Power, Robert Greene presents a law that might make you second-guess how you view friendship. Never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. It's an idea rooted in history, psychology, and human nature. On the surface, it feels disloyal and cold. But once you understand the logic behind it, you'll see how empowering it is. We often assume that friends will always have our best interests at heart. After all, isn't that the nature of friendship? But what we fail to consider is that our friends, despite their loyalty, come with biases, envy, and emotional baggage. Relying solely on them can lead to complacency, blind spots, and eventual betrayal. As Green himself says, People are more likely to betray you from envy or competition than from malice. So how can we apply this law practically in our lives? Why friends can be dangerous. Friends offer us comfort and familiarity, which makes them an easy choice for trust. But there's a hidden danger. Friends can change as circumstances change. If you're on the rise, you might trigger their insecurities without realizing it. The success you achieve may cause envy or resentment, even though your friends may not show it outright. Nothing is stable in the realm of power, Green writes, and relying too much on friends can backfire as your fortunes shift. To avoid disappointment, it's crucial to maintain a healthy distance and not over-rely on friendships for your professional or personal growth. For example, in your workplace, don't always team up with your closest allies. Friends might not challenge you or push you to grow because they care too much about keeping things comfortable. Instead, seek feedback from people who are more neutral or even slightly adversarial because they'll be honest, unfiltered, and direct. Why enemies can be useful. Now let's shift to enemies, those people who seem to be against you or who openly challenge you. They're the ones who will expose your weaknesses, force you to innovate, and fuel your ambition. Enemies, as uncomfortable as they may make you, can be far more beneficial than friends. One of the key benefits of enemies is that they keep you sharp. Knowing that someone is watching your every move with scrutiny forces you to remain vigilant and improve constantly. Your enemies are your competitors, Green writes. They reveal your weaknesses and test your strengths. Enemies provide you with an unbiased reflection of who you are and where you stand. They don't hold back their opinions out of politeness which means the feedback you get from them, whether direct or indirect, can help you make critical improvements. Historical examples. History offers us countless examples of leaders who understood the value of keeping enemies close and using them to their advantage. One famous example is Abraham Lincoln. During his presidency, Lincoln filled his cabinet with people who had been his political enemies. These were people who had competed against him for the presidency, who openly disagreed with his policies. But Lincoln understood that these individuals would challenge him and offer perspectives that his friends or supporters wouldn't. He used their opposition to sharpen his strategies, and they became some of his strongest allies in leading the nation through a civil war. This is the essence of learning to use enemies effectively. A more personal example comes from the story of Michael Jordan. Known for his relentless pursuit of excellence, Jordan often spoke of how he used criticism and even animosity from opponents to fuel his motivation. Jordan didn't avoid his enemies. He sought them out, drawing energy from their disdain. In his Hall of Fame speech, Jordan pointed to people who had doubted him or criticized him over the years as being key motivators behind his drive to succeed. 
In both cases, we see how enemies can serve as a source of strength rather than weakness. They reveal our flaws, push us harder, and demand that we grow. But how do you apply this in your own daily life? Start by cultivating awareness. Pay attention to how you interact with friends and recognize that their loyalty isn't guaranteed. Be conscious of the potential for complacency in friendships and avoid over-reliance on them, particularly when it comes to important decisions. For instance, if you're running a business, don't just hire your closest friends or rely on them for critical feedback. Seek out people who will challenge your ideas, who won't be afraid to disagree with you. In social circles, don't shut out those who seem to dislike you or disagree with you. Instead, engage with them thoughtfully. Their criticisms could highlight areas for improvement. Instead of seeing enemies as threats, start seeing them as opportunities for growth. Green offers this powerful reminder. A feared enemy is better than a too trusting friend. Friends can become enemies when their interests diverge from yours, but enemies, once turned, can become some of your strongest allies because their loyalty comes from respect, not just personal affection. Another practical step is to embrace discomfort. If you're working on a project, seek feedback from people who have opposed you or who have no vested interest in being nice to you. Their honesty can save you from costly mistakes. In life, it's easy to surround ourselves with yes-men. But growth often comes from those who oppose us, not those who blindly support us. So what's the takeaway? Friends are important, but too much trust in them can lead to downfall. Enemies, on the other hand, provide opportunities for growth, insight, and strength. Use this law to balance your relationships carefully. Trust your friends, but never be blind to their limitations. And when it comes to enemies, learn to see them as assets, not threats. As Green puts it, you have more to fear from your friends than from your enemies. Start leveraging both groups wisely and you'll find yourself wielding a new form of power in your life. This law teaches us that power doesn't just come from allies, but also from knowing how to strategically use opposition to your advantage.